Hello and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 6th grade concept of wholes, parts, and percents. This is standard 6.5b in the great state of Texas and we are using item number 35 of the 2022 released star test. If you haven't done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and we will look at our answers together. So we have a veterinarian examining 32 dogs, and of the animals she examined, uh, 32 animals, excuse me, and 25% of them were dogs. So how many dogs? So we need to take 25% of 32. Now, what, what operations can we do here? Well, let's first visualize what is 25% of something. Now, what do we know about percents, right? So 100%, if you get 100% of something, right, that equals just the whole thing, one whole. So if I've got a circle, right, and I'm going to shade in 100% uh, of it, that means I shade up everything, right, the whole thing. So if I do 25%, Here's an easy way to, to kind of keep track of percents. You can always change any percent into a fraction, right? Over 100, because 100 is the whole thing. So if there's 100 parts, right, that's your denominator. So 25 out of 100. So if I want to take a look at it this way, I can say, well, 25 out of 100, or 25 hundredths is going to be the same as my 25 percent. Now, uh, if I wanted to kind of reduce this, I can simplify this because I know 25 goes in both of those. It's going to go into one fourth. Okay, so this makes sense. If I were to take this circle right here, shade it into fourths, I've shaded 25% of this because 25, 50, 75, 100. It takes four 25s to get to the whole thing. So that makes sense. One fourth. Now, how does this help me with this problem with animals? Well, go back to what we did right here. Any percent can be turned into a fraction over 100 because 100 is the whole thing. And let's take a look at place value. So I've got my ones place. I've got my tenths place, decimal, and I have my hundredths. You see, I just said hundredths, and those are one hundredths. So if you get any fraction and you can get the denominator into tenths or hundredths, you're good to go. You can go straight into a decimal. So 25 hundredths is going to be 0 0.25. So that's this percent. You can write 25% as 25 over 100. You can also write it as 0 0.25. Either of those work because they both say 25 hundredths and we know 100% is the whole thing. So if I want to find 25% of 32, well, that's a multiplication problem. And instead of multiplying by a percent, which is kind of weird, I can multiply by decimal. 0 0.25 times 32. So let's do that. 32, 25, I'll just put the decimal right there. We'll deal with that later. You don't line it up like you do add or subtract. So that's 10, 15, 16. And that's 4. And that's 6. All right. Add them up. 0, 10, 800. Whoa. Now, this is what we do next. Whenever you multiply by decimals, you go back and check how many digits were behind the decimals in the factors. None right there because there's just 32. I had two digits behind the decimal in this factor, which means I need two digits behind the decimal in my product. So total two digits behind the decimal in the factors, so I need total two digits behind the decimal in my product. And look at that, 8.0 or just 8. So my answer here is... D.